Hey there guys, welcome back. Planet Cryos here. So your TV has a remote, your stereo system has a remote, your Blu-ray player has a remote. Well, did you know that you can get a remote for your PC? Yep, here's a remote for your PC made by Silverstone. So we're gonna check this out and uh, get it operational and show you how this hooks up. So stick around. Well, the viewer who I installed this uh, component on his PC was just a couple of videos ago. Uh, it's the one that I built uh, the PC for down in Florida. His name is Rich. Um, he sent this to me because I was having a problem with the unit um, that I was installing on his. It was actually my fault. The, the unit was actually perfectly fine. It works. He's happy with his PC down there. However, as soon as I contacted him, this was within the same day. He was not able to cancel his order, so he told me when it arrives, just go ahead and keep it and do a review on it. So, here we are. And I just want to thank him for that, so we can get started with this. And this is brand new. You can see it's still in the clear plastic wrap. And we're just going to go ahead and open this up and get this going. I just want to demonstrate that it works. Uh, I probably won't show you the monitor, because otherwise I have to move a bunch of cables around. But I tilted this this uh, motherboard up so you can see the fan. So you can see any kind of lights or the fan start to spin on this. I'll, I'll zoom in and um, just let you know that it works. Whether it posts or not, that will be a motherboard issue or a CPU issue or something like that. Whether I just want to make sure that it starts. As long as I can see that fan spin, we know it works. So in the box... You are going to get some instructions. Now, they're not, I mean, they are clear, but they're not clear. It actually, in here, I did not find, I didn't read this cover to cover, but it's got a lot of different languages. Um, but I couldn't find, you know, exactly how it says to hook it up. But again, it's very simple, and it was my fault. I feel stupid, but this is life. This is what happens. You have moments in life, and you got to... Just get past them. Uh, in the box, you get three different packages here and a battery. So technically four packages. So you get your battery for the remote. This is just a standard uh, 2032, I believe. It is a 2032 battery. And we get, I might as well show you the remote. You get a screwdriver. And that will allow you to take off. Here's the remote. Focus. There we go. So there's the remote. And there's where we're going to put the... Use this to take off the back cover. Uh, also on the package, you get a splitter. This is just a USB uh, splitter for your motherboard. So you can go three ways. We're gonna use, we would use up one. If you needed all of these, you would use up one. For demonstration purposes, I'm not even gonna hook this up. That's just if you had other things that you needed more ports for. And last but not least, the most important part, second to most important, I guess you do need the remote, is the part that actually plugs in to your motherboard. And this part goes right into the USB 2.0 header. Okay. And these ends, this is just a pigtail that comes off. There's also a little button on here, and I want to show you this right there. That is not a power button. I actually thought it was at first in the other video. I don't think I put it in there, but I think I thought that was a power button. It's not. That's how you sync it. That's how you sync the remote to this. This is the receiver, and the remote is the transmitter. So, and then you have uh, the uh, wires that are coming off the end. So these ends, this thing will focus. You have your reset, and you have your power. Okay? Those two ends go to the motherboard where you would plug in your I.O. on-off switch and reset switch and your power LEDs and all that. This part goes to the motherboard. So you take those other ones off if you 
purchase this after you already built your motherboard or your PC. You would put these on, then you would take the two cables for your power and reset that come from the case and you would put them on here to the the two extension cables, okay? So that was where I faulted is I just plugged them into there and thinking it would power on via USB for some reason, I don't know why, but that was my fault. So again, this is what comes in the case. We are going to try to do this all in one shot here because why not? This is real, real stuff here. So you're gonna take out that screw or is it a captive screw? It might be a captive screw. I can't remember now. Um, excuse me. The audio hit the audio there. But you're going to take it off. Oh, see, we've got to take off with this side. Oh, the screw is not captive. It just fell off of my hand. I'm going to put that down. And then take it off with the um, with this side up. That's going to be your easiest. It doesn't really matter, just as long as it goes back in the same. And now that's going to expose the two switches, and right, right there is where we're going to put the battery. And this tells you right on here, see that plus symbol, or the positive symbol? And then you're going to locate on your battery, this side, always with the writing that I've ever seen, always with the writing, the plus symbol is going to be on where all the writing is. And this is a three volt battery. And you're just gonna take it and come on, focus, and slip it under that little guy right there, like that, and put it in. Your battery is now installed. You can take that bottom case and place that right back in there like that. Line up your top for it. That looks good. We're going to take our screw, put it back in. And let's see. I thought this is the most important part to show, but I don't over tighten this because you'll strip it out. It's just plastic that that screw is going into. We can actually probably see that this is going to light up. See how it lights up? and the reset lights and this is we have to put this in and install this and get this so they sync together now I'm gonna zoom you in here okay on your motherboard you're gonna see a bunch of things like this is a USB 3.0 right here um, and I'm just looking and you know what I do not see a 2.0 so why is there no 2.0 connector on here? That is the strangest thing. I think I might have to get an adapter. Oh, no. Sorry. Okay. So, I yeah, I just found it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking for... See, this is a cheaper motherboard. And this motherboard doesn't have... Like, you can see that this has a casing around it. This black, uh, black casing. So, usually with any most motherboards it's going to come with that black casing around the 2.0 port so this has one it looks like we got one usb uh, 2.0 without the casing so we're going to take this and this does have you can see that one of the pins is blocked off right there there's no pin and on top of this there's a pin missing so this actually is going to go on backwards from what I'm used to. Um, hmm. Now I'm kind of curious about this. I don't know. That's kind of weird. But we will put it on via this way. Now this would be upside down. But in a way it's good because now I can show you the button. So over here, you're going to have your, your pin layout for your reset button, your power button, uh, power LED, and HDD, 
LED. So your power is going to be the second set of pins on the top. And we're going to place that right on there. And the reset button is right underneath it with the third and fourth pin. Just the same as the top for the power button. So you can see there's two pins. I'll use this pointer. There's two pins here, still right here, one here and one here, and the same on the top. So that's how that gets hooked up. Now, if you had a case, you can hook up this to the case, and um, you can still power on the unit with, with that. I just wanted to show you. So I have this, this uh, uh, power switch for powering up um, motherboards without the, the case. So we'll hook this up too. Here's your power. You just match it up to your power. And this is the reset, so we'll match this one up. So again, you can see that that is the power on the power and the reset on the reset. And we'll test this too to make sure all the wires are connected properly. And the way to sync these, you have to have uh, power going to these through the USB to activate it. But what we're going to do is hold in this button until we see an LED blinking. And now that it's blinking, that's a good thing. That means it's receiving power from the motherboard. So you got to have your power supply turned on. And then what we're going to do is push any one of these and hold it in. Sorry. You're going to push any one of these buttons and hold it in until you see the light on here stop or go solid. Right there. It actually just turned the PC on. You saw that fan spin. So there you go. And now I'm going to kill the power. I actually wasn't expecting it to turn on with just syncing it, but it did, which is fine. We're going to turn the power back on. And now you're going to see this button right here. What we're going to do is just power this on just with this click of the button. Both my hands are here, so we're not we're not doing anything else. I just want to show you that it's working. So here's my other hand. And presto. You can see that actually the power supply fan start to spin too, along with the motherboard. And now we're going to do one more test. I'm going to shut this off. We're going to turn it back on. And now we're going to test out this switch and make sure that this, uh, this switch works with it also. So we're just going to hit the uh, power button. Boom. And that is... This would, this is simulating if you had a case. That's where you would hook up those wires right here if you had a case. I just wanted to show you here, if you did have to use this, just plug in that to the USB um, header on your motherboard. And then you're going to take that, you're going to, well, you're going to take this. And so this, uh, on this mother, it doesn't really matter on this motherboard. So you have the option of plugging it in like this or you can come right on either side, or you can come right from the top and just plug it in like that. So it's gonna be sticking out, just, you know, it's gonna be sticking out a different way. So like, depending on how this all works, it will all depend on what your choices are on how you do this. And check out the back of the box there. Go ahead and pause it if you wish. And it was purchased from Amazon. There is a link in the description below. If you click on the link, it is an affiliate link. At no additional cost to you, I get a small percentage back from the purchase that you make off of Amazon. So a few closing remarks. I do think it's a, it's a good purchase if you have your PC in a weird area where the power button or reset button are not accessible without maybe getting on your knees or something. Uh, if you have to do a hard reset, all you got to do is hold down on that power button on the remote and it'll shut your PC off as if you are holding down on the power button. 
Now that's a force off. That's a hard off for the PC. Um, I rarely have to do that, but there are occasions where I, I do. You know, you got software that locks up or something happens, depending on how cluttered your PC is with a bunch of software. It'll happen to you eventually, if it hasn't yet. So it's not a necessary thing, but for the price, it's kind of one of those luxury things. That's what it is. And, uh, but other than that, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's decent, just not necessary. So, but with that said, I hope you enjoyed this little short video that I made. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell icon next to it to get notified for any future videos that I make. And also comment down below if you wish. And don't forget to like it. Hit that thumbs up button for me. And that's going to do it for me, guys. So until next time, take care.